Okay, folks, so today we're going to look at Maybox Linux and what Maybox Linux is, of course, it is a rolling release distribution that is Manjaro based and it uses the Openbox Windows Manager on top of it. So a couple of things that's unique to it, of course, is the Maybox Colorizer, their quick tiling manager and their side panel and menus. But for all intents and purposes, this is powered by Manjaro uh, underneath it. So this is what it looks like immediately as you've booted it up. And first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go through and install it and then we'll take a good look around. So let's uh, install Maybox. And like uh, most Linux distributions today, it uses Calamari's installer. I'm just going to fly through this quickly. I'm going to use the same password for the admin or root account and I'm going to install it. And we'll be back once it's finished uh, installing this. Okay, that part is done. Let's hit restart now. Okay, let's log in. Okay, first thing we need to do, I just need to fix resolution. Here we go. Okay, so out of the box, of course, starting off with uh, updating the system. And of course, it's using PAMAC. Okay, so well, that looks for its updates. In the background, of course, uh, over here, we have got, uh, we're using Conkey, which we can, of course, configure. We're using about 725 megs of memory, really not too much memory. Oh, we haven't used much disk space either. We've only used roughly about, uh, for the repartition, 5.2 gigs, 7%, and of course, uh, swap 2.2 uh, gigs. And of course, here uh, on the left hand side, of course, uh, all of the type of configuration menus and stuff you can actually do. So, for example, if, uh, if I hit the super key, which is a Windows key and spacebar, uh, it comes up with a menu, same as if I was to right click or go through these options as well. Uh, let's say I want a terminal or file manager, I can press super key, which in this case is Windows key and F and I get the file manager which in this case looks like it's PC man yep PC man FM and of course can just go and browse through the system like most uh, any file manager text editor of course super e uh, genie is the text editor that they've chosen really lightweight and easy to use a uh, text editor a super w of course uh, web browser Firefox uh, super P to configure a uh, PyCon or to disable it or enable it. Uh, Conkey, of course, if you just want to toggle Conkey on and off, super and C. And of course, closing windows and other, it would be the rest of the keys that you can actually uh, read here as well. Like even the exit dialog, really nice uh, exit dialog here, which Again, the nice thing about all of these is it gives you the opportunity to configure them, and most of them are pretty easy to configure. Uh, going back to add and remove software, it looks like it's quite a bit of updates, so I'm just going to apply the updates quickly. And once these are updated, uh, it looks like X is going to replace. Okay, so let's apply. Okay, so well, that uh, that is a bit of a download there. Let's take a look over here. So over here, of course, if I click on this, we get a quick navigation. We have we can even choose wallpapers, screen lockers, system info, and system info straight out of the box, of course, um, showing you how long the system's been online for, uh, how much CPU memory's been used. Uh, giving the options of what popular apps you want to install as well. We'll test that just now. And uh, how do we want to edit the panels, etc. So out of the box, I mean, there's a lot you can do with this. And it's really, really uh, low memory usage. So let's start off. I mean, I'm not going to really go and reconfigure the, the menu systems, but I mean, you can just see there's a wealth of information here. You can choose the type of fonts you want. You can choose the icons you want. You can do a colorizer like a, what type of menu sub colors do you want to put it? What type of the gradients are? I mean, you can just go, you can go mad here. 
you know, uh, choosing a wallpaper is probably one of the easiest options you can do here. So I'll just set that as scale if it's a wallpaper. And of course, there's a nice little wallpaper there. Um, and this concave logo thing over here, which we can just uh, move that to the left hand side. And there it's moved. Okay, moving back down again this list, giving you the option to your home directories, your music, everything out of the box, PY radio, which is an internet radio um, system that uh, can choose from different radio stations. Then again, over here, if same is the same menu as if I was to right click or spacebar and super key. Uh, again, uh, choosing the wallpapers, random wallpaper system over here, uh, the file manager. Right, and also you'll see here, if you click on these, it actually tells you which uh, key combination you can use. So if we look here, it tells you super and T. So if I do that, super and T, there it is. Okay, so let's just exit that. Uh, web browser, Mailbox, Linux Control Center. This is pretty nifty here. Yeah. Again, uh, what kernel are we using? What uh, resolution is the system on? What are our statistics? Um, so here it's telling us how many packages we have installed, what version of VA they're using, uh, what are the biggest packages. In this case, you can see here's the actual Linux firmware. Um, how to check for updates, what kernels uh, to use. So they've really, really gone ahead. Uh, you can see we're still using an LTS uh, kernel here. Uh, they've really gone ahead and really taken a lot of uh, some of the best apps from Manjaro and really tried to make Maybox their own, uh, which I think they've done a great job of. I mean, in the menus, you can add, remove launches, you can configure the panels. Um, Buttons appearances, what it should show, what it shouldn't show. Um, coloring, auto start, what starts up automatically when the machine starts up. Look and feel, so if you just want a normal colorizer or colorizer menu, um, you can select these options. What themes, uh, for example, here they've got arc dark automatically, and you can go add and remove additional themes if you want. Um, Conkey, you can configure your Conkey file as well. So if you were to edit Conkey, you can choose which additional Conkey files you want to run. Um, Compositor, uh, system hardware uh, settings as well. If you want more finer grained configuration, like for example, uh, hardware config. Uh, here, of course, uh, showing you what drive the system is using out of the box. Really powerful that uh, I'd love to see something like this on more distros. And then again, of course, this freaking colorizer. Uh, again, more options to configure. You could spend days, weeks, months configuring this uh, distro if you wanted. Uh, over here, of course, Wi-Fi connections, uh, CPU usage, screenshot ability, um, <laughs> panel on the right hand side. So of course, here you have your left panel. You have another panel on the right hand side where you can search at your system updates. So, this is more of the actual system configuration stuff on the right hand side. Um, and again, everything can be configured by editing a text file. Okay, that system is actually still updating. Uh, you know, if you do stuff like install popular apps. It'll give you a whole pop up here and give you additional uh, applications that you might want to install. And of course, you can just hit uh, the tick mark, update the system, and it will uh, add it. So, in this case, this doesn't have a text editor, so you could just uh, go ahead and install one. And again, add kernel will take you back to the kernel screen over here where you can try some of the latest uh, kernels that are out there. So I'm just going to exit that. So who is this uh, for? Well, you know, if you want something that's a bit more lightweight or you like Openbox uh, as a distro, oh, sorry, 
if you like open box as an interface and you want to try something else you know this is absolutely uh, the system to to use it's it's quick it's highly customizable and uh, if you like a combination and you want to use your uh, desktop keyboard to open up some applications and you want a bit of a combination uh, that's great and of course being open box you can just right click as well in case uh, you don't want to remember all of these uh, shortcuts and of course there's the advanced menus around it so definitely Mailbox Linux is configured uh, Manjaro enough to be its own identity its own distribution and I personally would like to see something like Mailbox, but uh, perhaps using a different interface. But folks, if you've used this, uh, let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.